Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you this uh, Schrade old, uh, old timer knife, um, which is actually really cool. It's, as you can see here, maybe, um, Schrade Walden NY USA. Uh, so that's, I don't exactly know what particular knife this is, if anyone else knows. Uh, that would be good, but it's one of the old trade ones before they uh, went to China. So it's um, it's got the bone handles, which are really cool. Um, and then it's got this blade. Um, it's just slip joint. This one's somewhat weak on mine. It's not too bad, actually. It's about normal um, with the blade reasonably sharp. I haven't sharpened it yet, so it would probably, I'm sure, get a lot sharper. Then it's got a secondary blade. This has a really strong slip joint, uh, and it needs a little bit of work. I need to take the rust off of there. Um, I've tried lubricating it. It's still a little bit stiff. If any of you guys know a way to loosen it up, or if it's just a, a stiff knife, that's probably what it is. And then the final blade, um, let me get it out. I need a screwdriver to um, pry it out of there. It's stuck so hard. Um, I don't know if it's just a really strong slip joint or if there's a reason, so let me get it out. Okay, so as you can see, here is the, the third blade. Um, it's been really bad condition in terms of rust. I think I can clean it up, clean it up so it's pretty much like new, probably, except for the couple dings here. Um, but I, I don't know what it was really for. It's just a single bevel uh, blade, and it's really stiff. I lubricated it so it's not stiff in terms of uh, moving, but the slip joint is really, really stiff. So the main knife, obviously, is the this one. It's the nicest. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a really cool knife. Um, it, it's got the bone handles. Um, and it's relatively small, but big at the same time, uh, compared to, let's say, my Kershaw. So it's, it's obviously smaller, but this is a relatively big knife. Um, I don't know if I'll be EDC in this one, uh, as it's kind of old and somewhat collectible. Um, but yeah, if you guys know anything about it, uh, or how to make it better or anything. I'd be happy to know about that in the comments. Um, I think it, it works really great. Um, I managed to cut myself with it earlier. <laughs> that was actually um, before I'd loosened up this knife. It, uh, it popped back like that. So that's not good. Okay, so I'm back. I sharpened it. Um, it actually gets really, really sharp. Um, it's, I'm liking it more and more. Um, the old trade knives look to be really good. So, I also put bone speed cream in the joint, uh, just like I did on my Kershaw. It makes it super smooth, uh, easy to open. Um, the small blade isn't unreasonable to open. I cleaned it up a little bit as well. Um, I could probably grind that down a little bit more, but it's not too bad as it is. Uh, this blade is also really, really sharp now. And I cleaned up this one and sharpened it too, just so if I ever need an extra blade, I have one. But I really don't plan to use it since it doesn't seem to want to come out. <laughs> um, so I've got a piece of just newspaper, so I'm going to show you how sharp this is. Uh, now, just newspaper, just so you know, is one of the hard things to cut, the really thin stuff. Um, so just try that with any of your knives, and unless they're really sharp, they won't be able to cut it. But as you can see, it just slices through like, like butter. It's super sharp. Um, and this, this blade, I don't know how long it will stay sharp, but... The steel is is really, it seems pretty good, because I was able to get it so sharp, just absolutely razor sharp, 
and then here's a small blade it's so sharp Ooh, don't want to cut myself but you can just do thin thin cuts with it and it, it's just amazing but yeah so I guess it's kind of been a review but you probably can't really buy these anymore um, you may be able to find them used but if you have one of the old trade knives I think they're they're really cool knives um, and they're certainly uh, worth something at least to me um, because I, I I may start carrying this knife it's that good like the sharpness you can get it it's just like super thin because that's one of the things the blade is really really thin which means uh, you can get it really sharp so for everyday day tasks like opening mail cutting through boxes that sort of thing just tape and stuff this is going to glide through all of that really really well uh, but yeah so that's about it if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video